Hello, welcome to Data Pro. This is the first video in the series of videos on C language course. In this video, you are going to see an introduction to C language. We are going to focus particularly on why should one learn C language. But before that, you might be interested in interested in knowing why should one learn programming or coding in general. Then we shall see why should one learn C language programming. Then we are going to see different types of applications that can be developed using C language. So this is the agenda for today's video. Let us begin with why should one learn programming. Let us see the term program. What is a program? A program is nothing but a set of instructions that tells the computer what to do in a particular programming language. A program is nothing but a set of instructions written in a computer programming language that tells the computer what to do. As humans, we interact with each other, we pass, in, we pass on instructions using human understandable languages. Similarly, we pass on instructions to the computer using computer programming language instructions. Now let us jump into why should one learn programming. The answer is simple, to create a software. Then a question might occur to you, why should you create a software? Let me answer you with these examples. Do you find using ATM centers useful? ATM machine is a software. A software is there behind it. Do you find biometric fingerprint attendance system useful? There is a software in it. Do you find WhatsApp mobile application useful in your life? It is a software. When you take an exam, after few days, you will get a result. You open a website, enter your ID number, select your semester or year number, then view your result. Website is a software again. You do video conferencing using applications like Zoom, Google Meet, Cisco's, Webex, etc. Do you find them useful? What are they? They are nothing but software. I hope you are convinced with why we should create a software or why we should create programs. So software has become a part of our day to day activity, isn't it? Now let us jump into why should we learn C language programming. Nowadays we have many programming languages, in particular we have some high level or modern programming languages like Java, C sharp.net, Python, PHP, JavaScript, etc. Among them, PHP and JavaScript are used particularly for creating web applications or web programming, whereas Java, C sharp.net, and Python are general purpose programming languages. General purpose means they can be used to create different types of applications. Like we can create a desktop application, we can create web applications, we can create mobile applications, we can create computer games, etc. These are all known as different types of applications. This can be created using these general purpose programming languages. To reach there, you should be thorough in C and C++ programming. Hence, C is termed as mother of modern programming languages. 
and father of C is Dennis Ritchie. He has invented C in 1972 at AT&T Bell Labs, USA, now known as Nokia Bell Labs. If you learn C well, then you get a good grip over programming or you will become very strong in fundamentals of programming. You will understand basic concepts like conditions, loops, functions, etc. Let me give you examples on each one of them. Conditions means you go to ATM center, you want to deposit, you want to say withdraw some amount, you enter amount value. <coughs> but whatever number you enter, you may not get the same cash, amount of cash. It first checks a condition, whether you have sufficient balance or not. So that is known as a condition. How to write, how to write such conditions? You learn in C programming. Loops. Whenever you need to repeat something, you use loops. Let's consider a photograph. There are several faces in that photograph. You want to find whether a particular photo is present or particular person is present in that photograph or not. Say <coughs> there are 10 photos or 10 persons in the photograph. So with each of the person's face, you have to compare. How many times? Repeat a number of times you have to compare with <coughs> each one's face. So that's a repetition. Until it is found, you have to repeat the process. Then functions. Functions are nothing but a small tasks that you write in a program. If you consider ATM machine context, deposit is a function, withdraw is a function, change in the pin number is a function, etc. All this can be learned perfectly and easily through C programming. <coughs> C is not only simple, C is a small language compared to other high level languages. So <coughs> these are the reasons why you should learn C language. Now let us see what are the different types of applications that can be created using C language. You can create system software or low level software, for example, operating system, you know Windows, Linux, Mac or Android or iOS, they are all different operating system. Unless an operating system is installed on a computer, we can't work with that computer or mobile phone. On top of operating system only, we can install some applications. Then, compilers and repeaters. The code that we write is similar to English. That code is known as source code. But a computer can't understand this source code directly. It has to convert it into computer understand format known as machine format or machine code or binary code. This is job is done by again software known as compilers and interpreters. Then device drivers. When you buy any hardware like printer, webcam, pen drive, you directly plug into the computer system and use it. Do they work directly? No. For the hardware to work, there is an associated software known as device driver software. Some device driver softwares come along with the operating system, some need to be installed when you uh, plug a device like pen drive or webcam etc. So these are all known as system software, which is developed using C and C++ languages. Then databases like Oracle, MySQL. MongoDB, these are all very popular databases. These are created using C and C++ languages. Now what are databases? What are they used for? For example, a bank's customer's data is stored in a database. 
you have to do transactions that you perform like withdrawing, depositing, fund transfer all these are stored in a database again you can ask for a summary or mini statement so those are all recorded in a database other card data is stored in a database your Facebook profile data like your email ID, password, your date of birth, your phone number, your friends list, your groups, your pages, all this is stored in Facebook's database. Similarly, Twitter data, your profile data like your name, your password, whoever is following you, whoever you are following, all this data is stored in Twitter's database. So, this is the importance of database. For any company, company's IT infrastructure, database plays a very important role. So, these databases are created using, using C and C++. Then embedded systems, like washing machines, apartment elevators, traffic signaling system, air conditioning system, all these contain software known as embedded software again c is popular for creating embedded software then web servers like apache web server <coughs> microsoft ias web server then <coughs> nginx web server they are all very popular web servers what are web servers used for Web servers contain websites or web pages. When you access any web page, the request goes to the web server. The, your website resides in a web server. So, all the requests are processed by the web server. All your web requests are processed by web server. <coughs> then, products or applications that we use like 3ds Max to create 3D images, Photoshop for photo editing, <coughs> MS Word that you use for, to create documents, Google Chrome web browser that you regularly use for web surfing. All these are created using C and C++. I hope you are convinced with the importance of C language, why you should learn C language. I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.